doing a attempting to live stream my first poker tournament. So we should be able to see the uh, the, the tournament up here to the left and my, my face over here to the right. So we'll see if this works. So I'll give you the first breakdown. Again, these videos are gonna go and talk you through just every every bit of strategy, anything that comes to my head when I'm playing this poker tournament. Again, there's three initial videos of just talking my baseline strategies, things that I've written down while playing tournaments. Um, but figured out how to do uh, how to do some streaming here in the 21st century. So I'll just talk you through any strategy that comes up on the board, my hands, other hands. Uh, first things first, the structure of the tournament. And you can see my balance here at a whopping $102. I believe I started with like 85 or 89 bucks, so I'm up whew, $11 lifetime on the account. So I'm crushing it. But again, I know I I feel confident playing. I just play for fun and mainly to watch Netflix when I'm doing my movie reviews and TV reviews. I'm playing poker and watching movies or the shows in the background. So the details. Move my face over a little bit. You can see we have. I'm currently nine and nine. But you have the details again. I'm playing on Bovada. You have a little chat thing here. It kind of sucks because you can like show smiley faces. Oh, six jack. Let's go. Oh, look what I got. So you can see right here, you get a little um, a little, a little emoji. You can also type in, or not type in, but like pick. You can see you can pick like automated uh, responses, which I think is pretty stupid. I wish you could actually have like a live chat, which I don't see why you would not have that. So that's kind of a bummer. This is only pop poker software I've used. But again, 10 minute rounds, the blinds go from 10, 20, next blinds will be 15, 30, then 25, 50, then 75, 150, then 100, 200, then uh, 250, 500, or 150, 300, and then 250, 500, and then maybe 300, 600, but I've never gotten to that point in the game. Typically, the tournaments last around um, probably... I don't know, an hour. I mean, if you, if you win and it's a long game, like I said, the, the 250 to 500 blinds, I've gotten there two or three times. Um, never, never to the 300, 600. But typically, I don't know, probably about an hour, hour and 10 minutes are the tournaments. So again, always showing my cards. I'll talk you through this once we start start getting going. And hopefully it works well. Okay, this is my first attempt at a the screen recording. It looks like I can see my little, my little FaceTime thing is on. So again, this is on my laptop. Uh, Going to put Wonder Share on my King Six. Again, I like King Off Card. We'll give this a go. Two Two Queen Board. Uh, nothing. Check it. And I'm not a big bluffer. Uh, it just depends. Um, again, because you can't you can't bluff a winning hand. So eighty, maybe Queen High. Think what 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 do we bet here? Again, you, know, you could could be bluffing. I don't see why you'd do that. So maybe either a queen, pair of queens, or maybe slow playing a two. I am out. So eight, and now we have a flush draw. Again, pocket pair, full house potential. Now we have a one card full house. Again, you can have a two for four of a kind, which would be obviously the highest pair on the board. But I'd, I'd expect small bets from, from either player with maybe a one card full house. Yep, there we go. So decent hand for that guy, played it well. And one card, one card like a full house is a high ranking hand, but if it's a one card full house, it's not. You're going to want to bet a size that you think you're going to get out of the other player. And so I believe player nine had bet previously, a raise previously. So a small bet for a queen, one card, full house from player six seemed to make a lot of sense. Probably could have bet a little more if the guy bet 80 on the turn or on the on the flop or on the turn for which way he bet. But Probably, probably could have got a little more, maybe bet size a little higher, maybe the 100, 150, 200. Ace 6. An ace low card, never a fan of the hand. Early in the game, low blinds, I'll give it a shot. Any raises, I'll probably fold. If it's a, a, one, a one bet raise, meaning double, double the blind, 40 chips, then I might call. Again, maybe hit a two pair. Again, everybody's out besides the big blind. So, obviously, don't hit, hit nothing. But I see he's a big blind, so I'll throw in a decent bet, see if I can maybe get him to fold just for whatever. If he calls or raises, I'm out. 
or if he raises them out, if he calls, I'll check next hand, see what he does. Which again is a pretty telling betting strategy, meaning if he, if he would have called that and then the next hand I would have uh, checked, it would have been pretty easy to bet back and then I would have folded. But again, he said, I'm just trying to get the best hand. And so once you get the best hand, that's when you start making, I think the betting strategy really comes into play, unless you're sheerly just bluffing for having fun. Again, this tournament, oh, the big prize pool is a, again, I, uh, it's, it's a $1 tournament. So in second place, I'll pull it up here in a second. Three bet raise, triple the blind, king two, I like the hand, but somebody already called, not going not gonna to mess with it. So here is the, here is the prize pool. $4.50 for the winner. Whoa, don't spend it all in one place. $2.70 for second and $1.80 for third. And I just play these games mostly literally as background for my, um, when I'm doing other videos or just, you know, gathering content, preparing videos for the next day or whatever. All right, so you would have hit king. Oh, would have hit trippy kings, but I folded. But even with a two kicker, I would have bet substantially. Again, typically if you're raising one card full house. Would have been the highest hand on the board, but raised off the blind. Didn't want to mess with it. So well, I'm guessing a five full house on that guy. But see, they don't show. You don't know what they have. So they don't know if they're bluffing. They don't know if they're making good bets. And so it's if you, if you don't know what they're doing, then how are you going to pull off a, a convincing bluff if you need to? So that's why I always show my cards, especially on any hands that I play. What's blinking down here? I'll oh, just this guy. Oh, so king two suited. I like that. Obviously, we get the flush potential. Maybe somebody out there with king ace, and they hit the ace, and then I hit the flush. So I, I will call the raise here. I like the hand. So a, lot, a lot of people participating. Low pair, the king. Any any sizable bet, I will fold. And obviously, no flush draw. You have a slight, you could maybe, you know, no real draws, maybe a straight, maybe a heart flush, but just low, low pair, everyone's checking. I'll throw in a small bet, almost certainly going to be piss away money. Again, no free chips, but you're gonna, if nobody hit anything, maybe I can scoop it up with a low pair. Uh-oh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look likely. So now I'm just going to check and fold if, if anything hits. Low pair, not a not, not hand to hold on to. But again, an initial bet like that off of the off of the flop, a lot of people could just be thinking again, nothing, hoping everybody folds. But with it, normally again, nine player tournament, four people still in, somebody's probably gonna have something. Hit a full house, so that takes the hand up substantially. Obviously, it's still a one card full house for the four, but I'd have the second highest hand showing, unless it's pocket fours or pocket jacks. So again, small bets. Uh, I'll just call it just to try to take the pot. Potentially the full up there. Nope, I win. So again, could have bet some, but yeah, I'm a pretty conservative player. Because again, you can't, you can't, you can't out bluff a winning hand. And even again, maybe I had pocket jacks, and that would have been a bigger full house, or a four would have been a bigger full house. And so even, and then even, ho well, hopefully we'll get to a, a hand where we convincingly have the the high pair or high hand on, showing on the board. And hopefully try to get a good betting, getting a good bet called. So we can win our $4.50. Woo! Four, four, queen. Obviously, uh, like the nine, ten, maybe for, again, the straight draw. After the flop hits, just checking it around. Hits a nine. So two pair, queen, queen kicker. Throwing a small bet if we get another ch check. And we'll do 60. Queens would have bet by now. Four would have bet by now. Again, I don't see people slow playing both the flop and the turn. Slow playing the flop, absolutely. Slow playing the turn, that's when I'm just typically throwing in some chips. 7-3, I'm out of here. Boom, boom. So hopefully this is going well. I think this might, I think my laptop resolution on the camera is 1080. So even if it's a longer video. Even the ones that I do on 4K. So we have a shove. So, again, probably pocket pair, almost certainly pocket pair of eights or higher. Again, this is a $1 tournament, so it's not like people are – people people shove on any any size tournaments. I mean, I've, I, don't, I haven't played, like, super high stakes, but I've played higher ones, $20, $50. I haven't really played in person just because, again, 
poker was kind of like a hobby I got into, but I've been playing daily, multiple tournaments of a day for like five to six years now. So I definitely feel confident playing. Um, and then there's also always a good amount of luck. But hopefully we'll get some more good hands going soon. Got moving on to the 1530 blinds. Eight, nine suited. I like it. I'll call that up to a two or three raise. Because typically, again, if someone's raising on pre-flop, they have ace, king, queen, queen, ten jack, ten ace, any of the higher hands with a flush draw, straight draw type of deal. So they might raise big on the pre-flop, but not too big. Again, if someone shoves or someone bets a huge amount, I would definitely fold. But up to a three bet, I'll call it because then if they miss the flop and I hit, then you have the way more convincing hand. And the power is in your hand for the betting. You can take all the chips. You can get them all. So, to know, obviously, flush draw is off the table. I was about to call a shitty straight draw, inside straight draw. And so, no, I'm out. I'm going to call it for the seven. And so, I'm never really calling. I'm never really going to bank and bet in, the, bet in the chip stack on an inside straight draw. Or one card. Eh, I'm more opt to take a one card flush uh, draw than a inside straight. Ooh, we got some rockets. So again, good hand off the rip. At least at this point in the tournament, I would certainly not raise. I want as many people in the hand as possible. So let's see what we get. Now, hopefully somebody else raises. Hopefully somebody else raises a small amount. That would be ideal. And then a couple other people call. Ooh, oh, not, not too far off. But 85, so again, I think a small bet would be, oh, it's three bet. I'd be 90. But then again, another little nuance to playing online. He did the little slow. See how, like, if I just go up, it just does increments of the big blind. And so, now, now I'm looking like, I'm, am I going to call? But, so when you slide, that means to me that just shows some sort of insecurity in the betting, right? He, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not 30, 60, 90, 120. Um, so that means he's like, ah, oh, how much do I bet? Do I scroll this much? Do I do this, do this? So he raises him and check back immediately. Hopefully he bets a good amount. We have a potential flush draw with the clubs out there. I do have an ace of clubs. We have another nice bet. Hopefully, oh, did I did I hit anything? No convincing top pair, no straight draw, shitty flush draw. Obviously still, again, less pocket pair triples or two pair. Which is certainly possible. I doubt he would have raised on the off on a 6-2, 6-10, 9-10, whatever. So almost certainly a draw of some hand. Ace, queen, doesn't hit. So now I'm 99% have the top hand. So I'm going to try to bet what I think he will call. I'll go 2-10. Convincing bet. Let's see if he gets it. Got the fold. Didn't get the call. So maybe should have bet a little less. But overall, played the hand pretty well. God took down the pot. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so hopefully these videos come out well. I like playing poker, and it's easy content for me because I play it every day. But... Bum, bum. Oh, I am, now the ch I am now the high stack on the first stream tournament. <laughs> By like 400 ships, sweet. So 5-9 on the big blind, I am out. Again, raises, raises pre-flop, I'm always thinking the high pairs, high like 10, 10 jack, 10 queen, 10 king, 10 ace, any of those sorts of combinations or a pocket pair. Typically like a, a, a 3 bet, big blind's 30, that's 90. I'm, th I'm thinking that's a, that's a draw, that's a ace king, something like that. Or too suited as a small blind, I will call. Just flush draw, straight draw, already in the hand for some chips. Hopefully big dog, player number nine that raised just a one raise. And I, I think that's when I watch poker games, when they say three bet, I'm assuming they get multiple of the big blind. So that's what I'm calling it. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get crucified by the poker community. 4-2, obviously hit nothing. Not, no high card, so he, ra he raised pre-flop. Either his, he's still convinced his draw as well, or he hit something. We got his call, obviously, I am out. So now we have a flush draw. We have a straight flush draw. We have a straight draw. We have a full house, four of a kind potential. So let's see what happens. So again, small kind of bet, same as last round. If he has a big hand, he probably will raise. Yep, there's the raise. He might call, he might fold. It looked like a value bet to see if he had anything. I think he's going to fold. There's the fold. 
So yeah, good, good, good to get out of there again. My guess is player nine had a convincingly top hand, and player one had a decent hand, and was like, "I'm getting out of the way." So I think both played pretty well that hand. Three seven, I'm out here. It's a no for me, dog. I am not doing a three seven game. And so pace of the game so far, uh, pretty slow. Again, for a dollar games, I mean, it's not odd off to have someone shove first hand or first three hands or first time they get pocket anything so again not a big tournament because i, I played it like develop the strategy of the game i play to make content and again because i'm not trying to make money i'd go i'd go film i don't know what's the what's the world series of poker costs to enter probably like twenty five thousand. i don't even know when the, that shit was there was like a fake shooting this year or a, a false flag of a shooting which is not not too out of the ordinary for america public places you gotta watch out gotta have those bulletproof vests handy Especially if you're in kindergarten. <laughs> so 9-7, I don't know. I want to play some poker, so I'll throw in the hand. Small blind still, so I'm going to play some 9-7. We have a three bet raise. Uh, if it's a multiple of the big blind, wouldn't that be a two bet? I don't know. When they say three bet, I'm assuming it's a multiple of the big blind. I'm calling it. I'm going to call that a three bet. It's three big blinds, so it's three bet to me, I think, I hope. <laughs> but I'm out. Would have called just the normal without a raise on the board. With a raise, I am out. Would have hit middle pair with a shitty straight draw. I would be checking here. Let's see what player eight and player two do. I haven't played music in a while. I did a cover song, Thinking About You. In the past month, but since I've moved, I've just had no motivation to do anything. Except for constitutional rights, that is still still offering $10 million for constitutional rights, but it's not looking likely. So, Queen 9, decent straight draw, no flush draw, I will play it. Bump, bump, bump. And so, I hope these videos turn out well. If not, I'll just be talking to myself for an hour, which I do anyways, so... Queen nine, ooh, shitty flush draw, shitty straight draw, big board, small bet. Ah, uh, uh, play it again. Got hits. Oh, hip, oh, hits the hits the inside straight, liking it now. Obviously, two flush draws out there. One twenty. Obviously, gonna call this one. I give it a second. Oh, I'm not gonna call. I'm gonna Avoid, oh, avoids the flush. So now, the only hand that beats me is a pocket pair full house. I will simply call. With the pot with queens. So, again, could have had a pocket pair full house, but pretty, pretty, like, expected betting for a split pot on queens. And so he, he did that, that the value bet. Again, he, I believe player six was the one who bet 60 chips on the flop. And so, or 120 or whatever it was, and so he was he was betting the he was betting the straight draw, which again, again, he, this big board out there. So if, if it gets a conservative player like me, I probably would have folded on even a, a slightly bigger bet, even with the same hand. And it's not uncommon for me to see that happen, where I fold a hand and I show my cards, and another person has the exact same hand as me. So I'm again a pretty conservative player, I try to make the best of the of the really good hands that I get, and typically that's good enough to win. And so, and overall, like I said, I started Lifetime. I've been playing daily for years and years now. So Lifetime, this account is up about $11. But I, like, I don't try it. It's, it's background noise from there. Bow, 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 bow. Seven, nine, ten. So we have a straight draw. We have a flush draw. A lot of those middle hands that might not have raised pre-flop or just called or checked might have hit. Checking around. Flush draws out there. More, a couple straight draws are out there. Somebody's gonna bet something here. Watch the uh, the U.S. Open final a little bit. I think a Polak won. Swiatek was the lady who won. As the men's finals happened, I don't know. But again, I try not to get this. Uh, I can't have any noise in the background. I don't want any uh, copyright strikes 
for my 44 YouTuber subscribers. So I want to continue, continue shout out. Okay, back to poker. But continue shout out to the YouTubers. Everyone's checking. So basically, no one has, maybe has a small pair. I guess somebody has a four or seven, and everyone's just checking around because nobody has a convincing hand. Ace is out there, flush is out there. So that, my guess is that's a small pair. Maybe a four or seven in there. Eight, seven. And now we are on to the 25, 50 blinds. I'm going to play some poker, so let's throw it in there. <clears throat> Hopefully we get some more. Again, the, the pocket rockets. The rockets! Did not slump anybody with the rockets. But that was my best hand so far. Still the chip leader. Look at me. Whoa. Watch out, Phil Ivy. Watch out, Phil Hellmuth. Watch who was that chick on LexFriedman.com.podcast.com. Liv Bori. Watch out, Livy. I'm coming. Oh, I don't even need I don't even need no game theory, yo. I do all the economics myself. Middle pair. Might want to take the pot. Probably an ace out there. Kind of a bad bet, but let's play some poker. Let's get out there. Let's get out and about. So it's not inconsequential. Got some folds. And now I'll check it. So again, I, I do have a middle pair, but if I check it, it's going to look like I have nothing. But we'll see if he has an ace. We'll see what kind of bet he does. Probably will bet. If it's super big, I will probably fold. Anything that indicates an ace, I will fold. It's about the same as last time, but I don't want to risk it. So, again, that's that that type of interaction right there. I, I not not super convinced about how to play that. Again, I bet a decent size, hoping to get everyone not not convince everyone would fold four people in the hand. An ace showing. Hopefully, nobody had an ace. He called a three bet. Come back with a four bet next hand after I check. Which again, I could be showing some weakness. It's like, oh, maybe I have nothing at all, and then bam, you know, he's just coming back with maybe a high card or something, and then I end up folding a pair that could have won. But again, I'm a conservative player. I see an ace. I'm testing the waters with a three bet, and, and I'm not typically going to continue on with a four bet after that. So, so again, eh, I, give that, I give that hand a C average. Not off-putting, but not getting close. Maybe C minus. So we have a three bet raise on the board. Nobody is out there. So again, we had a middle pair with the same type of thing, a higher higher card, pretty big bet. I had folded it in off of that. And so again, betting first, you typically set the tone of the hand as opposed to calling a bet, which we've talked about in the initial videos. So that's again, kind of an edge for that the, the hand that I folded two hands ago. It's like if you maybe maybe showing the three bet maybe he's thinking I hit the ace and maybe I have triple pair or something. So I'm, I do think he had an ace in that hand. Uh, we have a one raise as the big blind. Uh, no, I'm not gonna play it. Bold and show. Not playing five six off suit. Typically, again, the best type of hands to get on the big blind is when when you get a pocket pair or a good ace king ace queen. King, queen, something like that, and somebody raises, and then you can slow play the hand very well. Again, a lot of luck in poker. You have to hit the hands. Other people have to hit hands that are good in ways that you can bet and get a lot of chips out of them. So, kind of wait around for the big hands. So let's show. You, what's, what's else on my desktop? Oh, you know your your typical your typical uh, uh, internet drug dealer <laughs> icons. Your encryption keys. <laughs> your your electron cash, your electrum, which I don't have any bitcoins on here anymore. <laughs> My Kindle review. I was gonna I was gonna write more books actually, even just like nonfiction. I'll give not or fiction. I'll give fiction a go. Some photography, obviously old school RuneScape. I haven't played that in a while, but sim simply because I've not been a member. But I don't know, I've been playing Halo Infinite. Got my, my businesses and stuff. I just recently backed up all of my video content. 7-3, offsuit, fold, 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 boring, boring, boring. But I just recently, uh, just literally right before this, deleted or tra transferred a couple days ago. But all of my all of my videos, I think I've, my IP of video content is like 524 videos now. So getting up there. 44 subs, baby. But uh, got some audio files. Again, when I was producing music, and then I just learned to play instruments better. So I haven't really done anything with that. 
I do have Ableton Live. I bought that for like 700 bucks or 800 bucks or whatever, and I've used that like twice. That's good. <laughs> good use of some money. I have that compound microscope I bought for like 800 bucks. <laughs> uh, so, what do we got? Three players in. Calls ace, seven, jack. Decent flush draw for hearts. Decent ace, jack. Small bet. Just testing the water, seeing who folds. Could be could be slow playing a really good hand. Could be I think if you wanted to have a convincing like maybe maybe I have something really good, it would be more than a more than a single big blind. So I think he has something. I guess he's gonna bet again. Because I don't think you get anybody to fold with a one bet. Say so there's a little bigger bet, as expected. Another quick call. We do have the flush draw showing. We have a straight draw as well. So three card flushes. Uh, I'll typically call against them. Not not like if someone's. We'll see. If, we'll see if we get any bets. Again, that would be a flush. Again, if I had what, what would I call it? if I thought that was flushes? What what kind of hand would I call that on? Again, if I had like ace ace king, if I had a convincing high card, and in the betting strategy, to me that one that one could indicate a flush. But if the betting strategy isn't indicative of they're playing the flush. And a flush draw happens to occur, I'll typically call a bigger bet of that size, like a 300. This would have been a six bet. So, again, but see, that's what I say. These people don't show their cards. You don't know. You don't, and then say, well, they, they don't know. But again, you can't you can't manipulate somebody if you don't if they don't give them any information so they they think they can get indications of how you're betting. And I'm a structured, conservative type of poker betting, and then later in the game. You know, if you, it's a lot easier to get away with the bluff if you need to or if you want to. Four, five, six, uh, tight straight draw, maybe clubs on the river, no bets, 50. You know, hopefully you get a quick fold, wants a snap fold for that bet like that on the turn. Again, a one bet on the flop means nothing. A one bet on the turn, if both people check, could get a fold a good amount of time. I'm guessing he's going to fold. We shall see. Guess not. Again, super small bet. Typically, the hands you would fold is ones where you're just checking. You're just like snap fold. If anyone bets, I'm out. You know, come seven two off suit as a big blind or something. So now we have a raise here. So maybe a king. Maybe he slow played it. Looks like he's slow playing something now. King five two pair. So he's slow playing a more dominant hand. So well played by player two. That was a good hand. It's well played. Got a. Again, even even fifty chips to I think they just bet three hundred I believe. And we can just check right here on the details. And I don't I watch the I watch the the chat section again. You can't type anything, but six hundred I believe he bet three hundred on the on the river. But the other dude bet, so as a good chance for a bigger bet or a raise coming back to get called, and it did. So no one's no one's chirping. You you'll get little. I'll, I'll throw in something. I'll throw in a nice hand. And so you see it pops up there in yellow. This is just if you're curious, playing on Bovada. I'd really like it if you could actually have a chat. So I look like a courteous player. And now I'll do all of the, I'll do all of the, I'll do the, the smiley face. Well, I don't want to get, I don't want to tell them I have a good hand. I do have A7 suited. I like it. Again, A7 offsuit. Don't like it. Flush draw. I do like it. Shitty flush draw. No straight draw. Ugh. High card ace. Do I want it? Do I want to bet this at all? Oh, don't even get the opportunity. One seventy-five. I am out. And you don't get the option to fold and show if you're not the last person to fold. Working my way through narcos. Four five suited. It's decent size blind. And I'm back to about middle stack again. Everyone's about even. Eight's low stack, but everyone's about even. So Narcos is pretty good. Um, I'll do a review on that in the next, I don't know, whenever I finish it, about halfway through season two. What's up with the Spanish translations on that? I can either follow the Spanish as Spanish is, or I can try to like translate with the, 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 uh, the subtitles. Subtitles are so off. So off. Again, my Spanish is, I don't know, 95% fluency. So it's like there's a word or two I don't know, but I can, I can get the context of everything pretty much. And so when I just see the, 
the, the context, like when it says in Ponce, and it says, so then, it's just, it's just, it's just then, it's just, it's just then, it's not so, it's not all right, it's just then. The context to find the variable. All right, we got Jack, Queen, Seven, Heart, Club, Diamond, so any bets I'm going to be folding. Maybe a one bet I might not. We'll see. But pretty slow game, honestly, for the first tournament. This is pretty slow. There's no one even out yet. We are going to raise blinds next hand. Two people called already. I'm out. I'd be playing literally nothing. Yeah, so no more flush draw. So, <laughs> so that would be a terrible call, even even for tennis or one bet. Um, what am I seeing in the indication? We have a straight draw, no flush draw, big bet. I'm guessing it's a either a two pair, pocket pair, three pair, or straight. No real indication with the board. I'm thinking it's queen high, or like pair of queens. Raise here, two pair, up straight. There's a, there's a good good bet. Good re-raise. Unfortunate for player one there. Again, probably had a two pair, three of a kind, convincing hand. You, you, you flip a, a, a 10 on the river, dude hits a straight. That just, the, the barrels are loaded. See so who's going who's gonna to make the bet, and he re-raises a good, a substantial amount. Well played by six, unfortunate for player one. Nine, seven suited, not a bad hand. Now we probably have some tilt. And I would assume that's tilt nine times out of ten. But if his player one has a good hand, turns out well for him. He does have a good hand. As we've talked about, that's a great hand to actually shove. Because people are like, I thought it was tilt. Wasn't. Doubles back up. Staying alive. Boom, 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 boom. Staying alive. Staying alive. 3-5. I'm going to fold. Now the blinds are just to a point where it's, again, I have 1,700 chips. So that's 17 big blinds. And we will be raising the blinds again before that would occur. So now we're at the blind sizes where I'm basically playing hands that I think I'm really going to win and not even like the 3-5, maybe get it straight or a lower two pair or 9-7 offsuit, maybe get it straight or lower two pair or three of a kind or something. Nah, nah. I'm going for that $4.50. I need the victory. So we have a, we have a three bet raise. Um, again, just with the bit, uh, blind size being bigger, most likely a pretty more convincing hand than even earlier in the tournament. So fold, fold, fold. Big blind probably had nothing. So a couple low stacks. Everybody else is about the same. King Jack suited as the big blind. Like it, like it, like it. Uh, six is definitely convincing front front runner. A couple low stacks, but everyone's still kind of in it. I'm going to shove a double up here. And I call it, we'll see if we get to it, but I call it redistribution of funds. If somebody like five and one were both to shove, and uh, one were to lose, he would get slumped. If five were to lose, it'd be redistribution of funds. Basically, player one would now have 1,400 chips, and player five would have, oh, sweet, nobody called, so I don't get to play King Jack suited as a high pair, or as a big blind. So sweet. So the redistribution of funds is when two players shove all in and it just changes who who was the high and low stack of the same amount of chips so five and one shoved um if one one he would have the 1400 chips and five would have the 700 chips so it doesn't really do anything to the overall state of the, of the board so shove a2 offsuit no no chance maybe a call from player four we'll see no slump no, no, no buenos, no juegos, no game, no hand, no carte, no cards, no cards, I guess that's cards. Sorry, disculpa me, disculpe me, disculpe, disculpa, you excuse, Dis you excuse me, disculpa me, si. Si. Three times old. So, pretty boring game so far, can I be honest? Yeah. <laughs> Let's move my cute face right over here. Uh oh, now you can't see the timing anymore. Let's move my cute face down here. There we go. Queen three. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna play this hand. Definitely not with the race. No. If everyone had checked around and I want to play some poker, maybe. Again, just a big blind. You hit anything. A small bet. Maybe take the pot. But at this point in the game, there's no point. 
So then we have a shove, and if you just throw all oh, the play, play heaven, have some fun poker game, throwing a hundred chips and play your four shoves. Uh oh, we got rockets versus tens. Uh oh, we're done. Triple tens, done, 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 done. So we also oh, re, re eh, was that redistribution of funds? That might have been. I thought that was a slump. It was not. I forget if that. See, that would call that redistribution of funds. Big hand, and it doesn't change the, the the game dynamics of the board whatsoever. Six seven suited like it with a raise at all. Nah, I would have called it without the raise. With a raise, and most people raise convincingly. Again, I never raise pre flop. Again, not at this stage in the tournament. You know, again, if it's down to the everyone's in the money, we have two shoves. Nice. The guy who he folds needs to go quick, quick, quick. Oh, redistribution of funds. <laughs> on the river. Got to love that. Oh, I got the ace king versus the queen jack. Oh, queen on the river. That's poker. Plenty of luck in this game. Got to have the hands. Got to play them well. And the next card's got to be in your favor. So hopefully get some. Uh, and I'll be doing a bunch of these. I This is my first time doing it. I thoroughly enjoy it. So I've never, like, I never, I've never streamed. Just do my, uh. My YouTube content that nobody watches, which is pretty cool, which is what you want to go for. Hopefully, we're still rolling and my camera's still on. Really, like, shut it off. I think it's F9. <laughs> I don't know, just trying out some new stuff. Um, what else have I been up to? Nothing. Nothing. Doubt done with all my big house chores. So, I pretty much sit on my porch, wake up. I will do a walk or go to the gym. I will eat breakfast if I want to eat breakfast. Uh -huh. And then I will make a YouTube video. And then I will edit that video 17,000 times because Wondershare a little more does not seem to be working too well. Oh, I did inquire about uh, seeing if I could get my, my license transferred because I just have Queen A, let's play some poker. I'm going to play, play a hand. But turns out for Wondershare, you cannot transfer your editing license from uh, Windows to Mac. Which is, is just stinky, stinkies for Brad. But I was gonna do this on my my new Mac computer. So again, call 10-8. Let's play some poker. Uh, raise, shove, out. So some free chips. But I wanted to play poker. I wanted to play a hand. I wanted to see the, the flop and do flop stuff. So, but yeah, you cannot. Turns out you cannot just even if you have a like I have a single lifetime uh, license from Wondershare, and you can't transfer that to Mac. So, not a big deal. I wish it wouldn't crash all the time. Yesterday video went well. We had pocket jimmies for King Queen. So, understandable shove hands. Our first slump of the game with a full house. So again, there was not much. Two, pe two people called. And they like their hands pre-flop big enough to shove it on in. And then it just goes too fast to really talk the strategy because there isn't any. They're just getting to the end. Oh, here's school bus, I believe. So I have been noticing, I live, I think I'm in Licking Valley, Licking Heights School District, which I googled as Pataskala. But I see the kids getting picked up around like 9 o'clock, which is way better. There ain't no reason for kids to have to wake up early to go study their science tables. <laughs> because, yeah, man, I tried to do mathematics one time. It didn't work out too well. Try to do some proofing. Can't get published. Can't pay $10 million to get published. So I can understand mathematics is hard. Physics is hard. Economics is hard, law is hard, reading is hard, listening is hard. As we watched our uh, Kristen Amberst from yesterday. Hey, can you send me pictures of what you consider actual wear and tear? Clearly it says not wear and tear. Uh, I just asked for the pictures of what you consider normal. Thank you. I can't read for two seconds. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Ace 8 suited as a big blind. Liking it. Hopefully someone calls. We got a call. So hopefully now we can maybe play this as if we're checking the big blind. Obviously we hit nothing. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to check it. If he checks again, I will bet. I will call that. I think that's a value that he just throws in some chips. Might have a low pair. Two pair on the board with an ace. I'll check it. Hopefully get the ball. Oh, no. He had, it, he had his own two pair. <laughs> well, higher two pair. His sixes and jacks on the board. And he had sevens. So if it was been eights on the board, we would have split the pot. With, or I would want it with the ace high. His two pair would have been neutralized. So again, we talked about neutralizing hands. If, right, he has a two pair. We had we have jacks and sixes. Um, he, had, he had a seven pair. So if it would have paired up 
like with a, a pair higher than his sevens, then his seven his pot is any advantage he has with the seven would have been neutralized. So anytime you have a hand with a good with a good probability and a good reason to bet on it, and then the the, the chance goes away from a, a subsequent card, I call that a neutralizing card or neutralizing hand. Uh, yeah, so did my walk this morning. Had some cashews and some sun chips for breakfast. I like nuts. Sometimes, like I said, I'll either do the protein shake. I've not been trying to even eat solid breakfast. I've been eating big dinner fines, so body weight, 180 to 185 throughout the day. And I woke up today at 181. So again, yeah, been a, yeah it's mainly breakfast liquid diet and mainly liquid diet in general for the past two and a half years because of ongoing harassment and just, it's just constant. Anytime I deal with somebody that doesn't respect me, which is nobody, because nobody will publish my paper, they have to, the instant they get offended, they have to be disrespectful. And it's just what happens. That's how I got scapegoated by every person I've ever been exposed to. So we have a one bet raise. Again, this poker game's going pretty slow. So now I've whittled away to I'm now fifth out of eight. I'm about to raise blinds once again. So typically, uh, uh, king nine. Nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Yeah, straight draw. <laughs> Typically, I don't know why. Ace, ten, straight draw. King, nine, be. Oh, I like the hand, but I'm not going to do it. Not with a raise. Nope, nope, not at this point in the tournament. At this point in the tournament, I'm looking for a shove hand or something way more convincing to call a raise. Let's see if player eight takes the bait or slow plays a more convincing hand or folds. Ooh, we have a re raise as the big blind in a call. 6 10 4, no, shitty straight draw, no flush draw, big raises at the beginning, pocket pair, nobody hits, draws, nobody hits, somebody slow playing. I'm thinking one, eight slow playing, but my guess is one's going to fold unless he's also slow playing. King Jack, yep, he was slow playing. Ten. Well played, player eight. So pocket tens re raised off of a raise. Dude hit a king for a high. And then slumped. Well, he didn't hit the king till the river, so he had already called the called the uh, the the bet. But weak, pretty pretty bad call by that guy. I mean, why don't know you would go king high off of a re-raise? So that didn't make any sense to me. But good for player eight. Slump number two is on the way. So pocket five with the one bet raise out there. I'm just gonna call. Hopefully, I triple up. I do not triple up. Flush draw out there. Low pair. I will be folding. I was considering shoving myself because I will shove on a low pair pocket pair later in the game. Again, chance that you get the person with the the ace king, but with a board like that, like I'm not gonna no, just just blah, just nothing to say there. Seven eight, not gonna play this. It's certainly whittling away now. I'm definitely lower stack on the table. We have a couple double ups, triple ups, so. We need to play some poker. We have a couple low stacks, the 500 hands. We need to get top three to get to the money. But overall, slow game. This has been a very slow game. So, you, know, you, say, you always get you always get actual insight. It's a lot easier than just to play a tournament and write down the hands than or to as or it's a lot easier doing this than writing down the hands without live streaming. I guess it's uh, not live streaming. I'm live narrating a tournament that I'm then going to upload. So I guess I'm still not, I'm not a live streamer. I'm still a YouTuber. I'm trying to get the words correct. 6-2 fold. We just have one bet calls. Ace-9-7. That could be a good bet for slow playing a good hand. A feeler hand. Now we have triple aces out there. Pocket pair full house potential. Still the flush draw. A lot of, lot, of, lot of draws to be had. Big bet, probably ace or a pocket pair full house. My guess is an ace. I don't think he was, well, he only bet one bet, so my guess is he, he hit a, he hit a, either he hit three triple aces or maybe ace five. Maybe he had a full house, but certainly ace, ace based hand. Five three is a big blind, less than a thousand ships. Just check it if somebody calls. I'll take the 75 chips when I get them. Sweet. Small blind, pocket fives. If Hopefully if nobody raises, I will try to shove four all in. As the big blind, hopefully nobody else gets there before me. Perfect. 
So now I will shove four all in, hopefully get a call, and hopefully not have a good hand. Uh oh, we got the call. Oh, survive the flop. Survive the flop. Perfect. So I slumped player seven. No, I slumped player four. So yeah, I got lucky on that hand. Being small blind pocket, pair fives, big blind, low stack, ready to shove on any sort of raise, ace king, not suited. Good call by him. Absolutely no, no thought call by him. I survived the flop. Ace five suited. I'm not going to not going to dabble with this. Already another call. Hopefully player five takes care of him. So now we see the dynamics again. All of the when we have a table board like this, I like to see all of the big stacks taking all of the little ch little chip stacks. Pocket sixes, full house wins. And then as opposed to, and again I'm the low stack of this table, but as opposed to if two two low stacks um, both shove at the same time, they're going to consolidate. So they're going to get in one. We're going to go from two low stacks to another medium-sized chip stack, as opposed to the high chip stack getting a bigger chip stack. So trying to get to the money, trying to win, we're going to root for the higher stacks to take out the lower stacks, as opposed to two similar type of people taking out each other. We don't want the cons reconsolidation of funds isn't a big deal, but we do not want consolidation of funds. That is not good. Not good. Get to the money. Trying to secure the bag here. We want the purse. We want the Hublot new uh, watch. We need the Hublots. <laughs> King three suited. It's a hand I like. I'm going to play it. Down to a couple people. Well, we're down to about half the prize pool. I've been duking it out, surviving. Surviving in the poker world. So hopefully no raises. A raise I will probably fold. Still need... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Okay, Bill. Okay, Bill Kosiski. I'm calling your shove. So now, again, as convincingly low stack, I'm looking for a hand to shove, which will be the. Eh, let's call it. Let's just call it Ace Eight. I don't want to see the flop. I don't. Not not dire straights yet. A re raise or a shove here, I probably will call. But we shall see. Hopefully, I can get to the money on the first tournament. If not, again, these are just. Tournament playthroughs. These are for you know specific type of content. If you're trying to get better at poker, you're going to be watching these. Open ended uh, flush draw. I'll check it again, again, because if I don't hit the flush draw, I can't. I don't have a lot of lot of room to miss. Hopefully, we get a check to where I get the flush. Ace high flush. Please don't bet number nine. Oh god. Oh god. So this this is this is where I either decide am I done with the tournament or am I not. Because I, I, if I wanted to call this, I would re-raise to a shove, just hopefully betting on the flush draw, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to fold and show. Not If I had a higher chip stack, I would have called that just on the flush draw. Missed the flush, and on Bovada, you see the next card after the after the flop. Like if you Everyone folds pre-flop. Clearly, you don't see the flop. But so, And that's just basically where you're playing. A lot of tournaments will be specifically, like at the Columbus Casino, I looked into the rules there. They don't do. They don't. They don't show the next card at all. And playing online on Bova, Bovada, they always do. So could have shoved. Could have shoved banking on on the flush draw if I was done with the tournament. Not really feeling like being done with it. Still trying to get a better hand. I will need to shove soon. Pretty, no no commentary for that hand at all. Seven nine small blind. No raises. I will call. And hope it big blind has nothing, absolutely nothing, and I hit something on the flop. I hit an inside shit straight draw, and I'm not going to bet it whatsoever. Get a low stack. You don't hit hit a low pair there, so I will throw in a convincing bet. Hopefully he has nothing on the flop. He doesn't. So hit a low pair, was able to take down the pot, but when you're the low stack, you, you gotta hit a hand. You gotta hit a hand and hope it's the best one, and then shove. King 10, also a shovable hand. 525. So that's a pocket pair. That's aces. Or a, ace, ace, ace something higher. Again, I'm still in the still in the need to shove, need to play poker, need to make a move soon type of type, type of tournament uh, area. And I'm gonna hold off on King 10 off. So the blinds aren't exorbitant yet. I can still hit a double up and get to the two range of chips. 
which is your your third place finisher now. Ten Jack King, uh, flush potential, small bet, uh, maybe probably slow playing something. One card inside straight draw. My guess is player five is getting out of the way. King seven off suit like the hand, not at this point in the turn. We have a one bet raise. That's how I practice singing. Stretch out my face. Maximize that dexterity. dexterity. Sensorality. Oh yeah, I'm still doing a profound amount of math and stuff. That's still going on. I just don't sit in an apartment anymore, so I just sit outside and say it. And I'm sure that too. Four five as the big blind with a low pair off suit. Let's make it convincing. Ah, uh, let's check it. I, I could have gone for a convincing all-in shove there with a low pair. Hopefully he has nothing. So I'm going to go with a, a 600 convincing bet. Hopefully he folds with a small, small off chance that the four takes it home. Please fold. Got the fold. See there, you have to be convincing. Uh, if you just one or two bet, there are very high, much higher chances that they get uh, called. So pocket twos as the small blind, I will shove on this. Hopefully just take down the big blind. If the guy has something, hopefully hopefully double up. I will, again, later stage tournaments, I will shove big blind with a pocket pair, as I've done. Got the big blind, whatever. A little more, a little getting closer to out of the, the low stack. I would say me and player six have about the same amount of chips in terms of board dynamics. Five and nine have about the same amount of chips for board dynamics. Yeah, sensorality, senses, sensation, sensational. Rocks don't sense anything with an S. So again, when you see anything with a C, it says sensor. That's for inanimate objects. We would have had a high pair with a jack kicker. I would have bet that hand had I not folded, but obviously I folded. Maybe I just start doing live stream derivation while doing over. I did want to do live stream derivation, but I'm still out of society, so that stinks. Would have had a convincing two pair. Obviously, it was not in the hand. King four. Blinds have now raised again. So again, still looking for a hand where I can double up on. If we knock out two more people, I'll be in the money. Definitely, certainly not out of it. Certainly not at a super low stack, but pretty slow game. But yeah, sensationality, sensorality, vibrationality. Good rhythms, good vibes only, sensorality only. Sensorality determines good vibes only. Sensorality, vibrationality. Uh, queen five suited. I like the hand, not at this point in the tournament. Oh. Yeah, the Navy said, oh, the Navy said we have more uh, classified documents that would endanger national security if they were released. It's not the aliens, it's not the UFOs that are endangering national security. Maybe the procurement method, maybe where they got them, maybe how they got them, but not the actual content of the data. UFOs are everywhere all day, all the time. There's plenty of aliens that look exactly like us and <laughs> walk down the street like nobody, like nobody would notice, and government officials all know this stuff. But can human beings change? No. 610 suited, I will just call. Play the hand. Hopefully hit something. Hopefully big blind has nothing. You raise it here. I'm not getting any hands this game. Certainly not for the first live stream tournament strategy session. So he's, he's the big stack. He can easily bully me out of this hand, which he will do. But I just have nothing to call on. So Called on a straight draw. Called on a flush draw. That's this low blind against just the big blind. And he hit eight. So good fold. Queen 10 suited. We're shoving. It's one of those hands where someone has ace, 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 king. They would easily call. If I hit, then I would double up. So then we have the raise. Need to make a play. Let's see how the let's see. Let's see we're shoving. He's probably almost certainly going to call. Queen ten. Oh gosh, need a ten. Need a ten. Need a literal ten. Oh, we are out. So bomber. So I lost my dollar. That stinks. Overall, overall breakdown for the first live stream tournament strategy. In pretty slow hands, pretty slow tournament, 
good you always get good uh just discussion about different talking points or different um strategy things i think i played all right again i play at the lower levels just to again just to literally try to execute strategy and see how it goes um so overall i thought i played fine again there's a lot of luck in poker you have to get good hands you have to play the hands well people have to call and you have to have the best hand at the end of the day and so clearly i did it on poker tournament number one I'll be doing this much more regularly. I actually thoroughly enjoyed doing this. I didn't know how talking this long would go, but with something to talk over, it's very easy and enjoyable for me. So again, I play three or four of those tournaments a day. Eh, probably two or three at this point. If I'm making a video out of it, oh, maybe we make more. <laughs> I don't know. But again, I would like to play it live in, in person and do some videos there. So maybe go to the Hollywood Casino. I just want my money. I want, I want a time frame. You don't even have to pay me. Well, you do have to pay me my money. If you gave me a time frame today, I would be traveling and having fun today. But nope. T -t -t Tomorrow, Junior. So, thank you for watching my first poker streaming. I got an overall slow game. Talked through the strategy that I saw. Pretty blah. Pretty slow. Not super. Nothing Nothing super exciting. And I do get I do get super exciting tournaments. I think the only type of hand... I've never had a royal flush. But I've had straight flushes, four of a kinds. You know, pocket pair, full houses. Where you double up, triple up, triple shove. Like... Four or five people, well not maybe not five people knocked out at the same time, but three or four people. So I'll be recording more of these, and we'll get some more interesting uh, poker and discussion going on. So if you watch this point, which I'm sure nobody will, I <laughs> uh, hope you learned something, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.